Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. Um, it's always, I'm always trying to figure out what freaking day it is. Uh, we're back to talk about the Real Housewives of Orange County. Some Alexis Bellino, some Shannon Bedore, some John Jansen, because it just does not stop. Uh, this week is, I believe, the last part of the reunion, which I'm going to be sad to see OC go. But the good thing is, is now we have Beverly Hills. So, okay. Uh, before we jump in, if you guys have not already, go ahead, pop off in the comments section. If you guys are not subscribed, definitely go ahead and get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and, um, oh. Well, no, I'll tell you guys that later. Okay, let's start here. Thank you to our friends over at Reality Blur. Alexis Bellino is seen going after Shannon Bedore in a series of just-released sneak peeks at the upcoming conclusion of the Real Housewives of Orange County reunion. Um, I have to say, I watched these sneak peeks. Shannon ate her ass up. She ate her up. I'm not and I've said this, and I don't have to keep saying it. I'm just, like, not the biggest Shannon fan. Um, but I'm happy to see that it is playing in Shannon's favor. And the only reason I'm not the biggest Shannon fan is because I just haven't had great interactions with her. I love, you know, seeing her on the show, even though sometimes I feel like, it's a lot of this! And it gets annoying. But I think she's great reality TV, but... It's neither here nor there. It doesn't matter what I think. It, honestly, who gives a shit what I think? After Shannon claimed that she has receipts proving that she paid for everything at the start of her and John Jansen's relationship, Alexis fired back suggesting that John paid $350,000 on their romance before allegedly loaning $75,000 to Shannon for her facelift and accusing her castmate of being obsessed. For the first half of our relationship, I paid for everything. I have the receipts. I could have shown up here with big graphs. If we go to court, those numbers are going to come out. That's what she said. But the only thing I've said negative about John is that I paid for everything at the first half of our relationship. And I did. What else am I saying? And then you say, oh, I just keep getting shit on. How did I shit on you, Alexis? Hmm. Alexis fired back saying, this isn't about me. I'm in the middle of this now because the lies keep continuing. We did forensic accounting. You did not pay for everything. We have the numbers. So if you would like to bring yours, I have the numbers. And Shannon said, then we'll compare my numbers with John's numbers. See, this is the thing that kind of annoys me though. If, for example, I'm going to use my relationship as, if Jason and I got a divorce, and Jason and I were arguing over money, right? Say we are, cool. And then all of a sudden, Jason has like some new young hot boyfriend. And the boyfriend comes in and says, well, guess what you didn't do while you were in the relationship with John? And you owe J or Jason, you owe Jason some money. I would be like, who the fuck are you? Who are you? You weren't there. Were you in bed when we were having pillow talk? Were you sitting there when we went out to dinner? Did you go on trips with us? Did you know when I bought those Ferragamo shoes? Were you aware of any of this? Shut up. Who are you? Sit back. Shut up. Be the new girlfriend. This lawsuit has nothing to do with you. You're the one who chose to bring it up on the show. You're the one who chose to make this a storyline. You're the one who chose to insert yourself. And right now, I'm telling you, you can respectfully... Remove yourself from this shit. This has nothing to do with you, Alexis. And that's how I would be um, if I were in this situation. I think not, it would drive me absolutely insane if a new partner or a new whatever came in and acted like they knew, oh, well, we hired a for forensic accountant and we know and we have the numbers and we have, it's like, Alexis, go away. Go away. Let Shannon and John handle this because you weren't there when they were spending it and you don't need to be there when they're figuring out how to get it back together. And also, if Shannon, which she does not, but if she did have a man right now and that man was interjecting, unless she does after that love show, but if that man was interjecting and like saying things to John Jansen or Alexis, they'd be like, who the fuck are you? So it's okay to pile on Shannon and it's okay to insert yourself into business that's not yours, but you know if the, if the roles were reversed and it was a man getting involved in their business, then it would be a totally different thing. I don't like that. I think it's not fair to Shannon Bedore. I, again, I'm not like over here championing Shannon Bedore, but I don't like what I'm watching with this. I think it's BS. 
Moving on. My God, I got so excited about that. So, ay, ay, ay. Then when Alexis said that she had the numbers from every year, all 365 days, Gina said, why? And Alexis said, this doesn't involve you. It doesn't involve Alexis. John spent $350,000 on the relationship before he even paid the $75,000 in loan. And he only wants the loan back. He's not going to tip for tat for what he bought. But at that point, Shannon mentioned that she'd offer to pay John the money for the facelift. And she said, that's another lie. You offered $15,000 with a three, it's a three-year payment plan is what Alexis said. And Emily then pointed out that the loans are typically paid back in installments. And Tamara wondered why Shannon was willing to pay off the loan if she felt the claims of a loan were a lie. And Shannon said, because I know that the legal fees are going to be more than that. But in another sneak peek after Shannon shaded Alexis's 15-year television career by joking that they should pull up her IMDB page, Alexis said that she was so bitter. Shannon, you're so bitter. You're so bitter. And she said, Alexis, I don't want to talk about you anymore. Get married. Congratulations. You're perfect for each other. I don't talk about you. Stop talking about me, is what Alexis said. You're obsessed with John and I. Why does his name ever come out of your mouth? You don't need to talk about him. He's finally happy. When I first got with John, Shannon, there were so many negative things being said about him. Once I fell in love with starting to like him, I Googled him and all of the negative stuff that you lied and said about him. I had to ask him. Um, okay. Yeah, that's kind of how the world works when you get in a relationship. If you... You guys... This is another level of just, I can't, and it is so beyond, and I feel like you are talking to a wall. Um, I'm going to leave her alone. I feel like talking to Alexis Bellino, it's a no, there's no point. There's no point to have her on the show. There is no point to have this conversation, and there is no point for Shannon to explain something that Alexis was not involved in to alexis like now should john jansen explain everything to shannon's kids i just think it's stupidity but on top of that alexis bellino is celebrating her anniversary with john jansen despite the struggles that the devil is throwing their way thank you to taste of reality our girls yeah Alexis took to her Instagram page to celebrate her first anniversary with John Jansen, and um, she paired a carousel of photos with um, their love story. Well, Taylor's version. Romeo says it, I don't matter, be alone, I'll be waiting. Yeah, you guys know. Anyways, happy anniversary to Alexis and John from Alexis, where it all began one year ago at The Quiet Woman. Who would have thought we'd ever meet in life? And within the next two years, I'd your wife. You forgot the word B. B. It's crazy to think that where we began as friends and where we are now, 500 exclamation marks. I do question God about many things, yet you are not one of them. It's so easy to be with you, even through all of the struggles. And the devil is throwing our way all of these struggles every minute. And none of that matters because God is on the throne I can't wait to forever be Miss Jansen. I love you, Johnny. Hashtag one year anniversary. Hashtag wedding coming soon. Hashtag nobody fucking hashtags anymore. FYI, Alexis turned the comments off on this post, by the way. So, Shannon Bedore is obviously the devil in question in this post. Another dig. You're the one who keeps bringing her up. She's not bringing you up. And this is what I don't like. But pop off in the comment section, guys. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Love you guys.